I'm Karen Elgersma, flying on a magic carpet right here at 10,000 Villages. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, James Green discovers the joy of radio control driving and a new workout that will inspire you to pound out all your stress. All that and much more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Hello, thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. I am so excited about today's show because we are here at 10,000 Villages with a very special guy who just arrived here. You just took the ferry over this afternoon. Uh, Yusuf, he is in charge of an international program that is not only creating jobs in Pakistan, but he is spreading the word of of these original, handmade, artisan created Persian rugs that are not only exquisite, but they're changing lives. Welcome Thank to you. Victoria. It's nice to be here. It's nice to have you. Thank you. Um, I want to begin by letting our viewers know about this beautiful artisan produced uh, rug. It, it really is an uh, ancient art form. Let's begin to just so for people to understand what it go, what goes into these rugs. Tell us a little history. So the rug making in Pakistan where these rugs are coming from goes back more than 2400 years and today there are roughly five countries in the world where some of the large quantities or high quality rugs are produced and Pakistan is one of them. And uh, having that pride in the many of the villages where these rugs are produced because these are done in the family's homes. Mm. So each family has their loom, their own design, their own color combination. So when you're looking at these rugs, some have, let's say this was 800 knots per square inch. This is hand spun wool natural dyes. So there's a variation on rugs, even the way the natural dyes are produced. These are all natural dyes, hand gathered. So huge variety in the way the artisans make their rugs. But the best part is that each artisan has a say in how their rug looks in the end. You will be blown away when you see how they take the information, the instructions of the design and follow them in order to do the knots on the weaving. And we're going to show you that in just a moment. But first, uh, there are so many great hobbyists here on Vancouver Island who have a passion of their own for what they do. And uh, there is one group that does radio powered cars. James Green checked it out. Thank you for that story, James Green. Of course, so many people on Vancouver Island uh, take up weaving as their hobby of choice, but weaving truly is a artisan's um, way of making a living in, for many people in Pakistan, creating these beautiful one-of-a-kind rugs. Um, it really is uh, layers and layers to create these beautiful rugs, including the dyeing. Let's talk about the dyeing pro process. These are some of the ingredients the artisan use uh, for making natural dyes. This rug, particularly right here, this is all natural dye hand spun wool. For example, if an artisan was to choose a uh, walnut shell, Walnut shell is only available uh, in the month of September to October. Jeez. The walnut shell drops off the tree and you collect it hand gathered uh, off the floor. Normally that would just become, it would decompose and you know it's wonderful to become fertilizer. Well, what if you can make a dye out of that? So it's a beautiful agent that allows many dyes to happen. If an artisan to choose an onion shell, which is a common ingredient among all food, well, a North American household would only produce about enough onion shell for two pounds of wool in a year. Yet a 9 by 12 rug would take 260 pounds of wool to be produced to the one rug. So you need lots of raw material. So artisans spend endless amount of time gathering these things, planning for everything. So there's a lot of science in it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of commitment to it. And then at the end, that's how you get to see a beautiful rug like this or a rug like that that has over 800 knots per square inch and has over 20 colors. We're going to explain what this is in just a moment because this is just, it, this actually blew my mind, this part of the rug making process. Um, but first, we're all looking for a way to exercise that is so much fun we don't even notice we're exercising. Well, there is a new fitness class that will make you want to beat on the drum all day. So try to sing that story. 
I'm working out right here at 10,000 Villages. I'm drumming, uh, having so much fun here because we are talking about rugs. These rugs aren't ordinary rugs. These are one of a kind, artisan created rugs that are handmade with care, love, and an expertise that is really an age old art form. Um, now tell us a little bit about how they, what this means. This is just the coolest thing. This is called Talum. For example, this, this Talum is designed for 9 by 12 rug. And basically, when artisan is sitting on the loom, they're using only half of that paper, and it's like it's a design so you don't lose track of your knots. Each number that you see, it's a special language that says how many knots of which color. So each number then is symbolized, it's coded right on top, and that says what color it's going to be. Isn't that extraordinary? So they read that, then they weave in the color, and then it's just, it's, I can't even imagine trying to keep track of that. If somebody, you know, hey mom, I'd be like, Wah! I don't know what I'm lost. <laughs> and this is, this, for example, this rug has only about five to six colors. Right. Now, that's a hand spun wool natural dye rug, but the next rug has a 15 to 20 colors. And then each rug has its own washing. So it's like individual rug, individual artisan deciding, you know, for this rug, I need this type of washing. It needs to be washed this many times. It needs to be scrubbed this way. And then it, once the rug is dry, then it gets cheered by each artisan. When we buy one of these rugs, not only do we get an heirloom that you can pass on for generations and generations to your family, but you are supporting uh, through yeah. fair trade. A sustainable income for a family, for both men and women. About 60% of the rugs produced here are done by women. And the best part is the job that sits in their home. Yes. It allows their children to go to school. That's how the, the fair trade is designed. The artisan sets the price saying, I need this much money per day for my child to go to school, for my family to have three meals a day and have a good living condition. That's where fair trade starts. You have to come down to 10,000 villages over the next few weeks, if nothing else, just to witness the, the beauty of these rugs and the heart that goes into them. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the process because it just continues uh, to blow me away, the different things that make each rug individual and beautiful. Uh, but we have to take a very short break. When we come back, uh, Paul Ballstein has a very cool story uh, about two words World War I guns that are being restored. So stay with us. We have to take a very short break, but please stay with us. When we come back, we are going to tell you exactly how you can find out more about these rugs, how you can get up close and personal with them. And Dan Kahn has a very cool story about seniors and technology. So don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Go Island. I'm just hanging out on the magic carpets here at 10,000 Villages. Oriental rugs, fair traded, made by artisans from Pakistan, changing lives, but these really are original pieces of art. Uh, we're going to tell you how you can get up close and personal with these beautiful rugs and how you can find out more in just a moment. But first, seniors, we often think that they're technically challenged, but there is an independent documentary filmmaker that Dan Kahn sat down with, and he has some very cool information about our cyber seniors. Thank you for that story, Dan Kahn. Independent filmmakers, documentary filmmakers, they inspire us. Uh, and right here in 10,000 Villages, there actually is a documentary on the oriental rugs made in Pakistan. They're fair traded, made by artisans that spend their life learning the art of rug making. And if people want to find out more about oriental rugs, there's only a short window of time over the next few weeks, Maria, here at 10,000 Villages. Tell everyone how they can find out more. Well, they can look at the rug website at rugs.10,000villages.com, but there's nothing quite like seeing them in person. I know. And they're going to be here for two weeks starting, well, they're here now, they're until the 22nd of March. See you soon. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions.
Men's Wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and Accessories. Hair Services provided by Salon J.